Hey, I'm Naomi. Well, technically Naomi's Bitmoji, though I guess I could be slash am Naomi in an alternate universe. Anyway, I'm here to do a spoken word I wrote for class. I hope you enjoy. Be quiet! Butts in seats! Listen, I won't repeat myself. Do it again so that I can send you out my class, finally, at last. Here's the situation. I have the information that you need in order to succeed. You're trying my patience. You'll need this equation for the test. Do your best. So be quiet, butts in seats. Listen, I won't repeat myself. Do it again so that I can send you out my class finally at last. Did that get your attention? Good, then please listen to my philosophy of education because I don't have much time and I have to do it in rhyme. To come up with mine, which I hope is fine, I've read so many philosophies, here are the points that are key. On the public school, which many may ridicule, Moshalin and Simons come to defense. They explain the concept shole, where on any given day, the objective is to learn, not to earn a grade or paper. You become a player in a game where everyone is not the same, but are equally, nay ceaselessly, striving to learn because they want to. Something we should all want, too. To required readers, what a pity that Plato decided to create a city. He made it his priority to generate a society in order to actualize his ideal generations filled with zeal. Each person had a role determined by their soul. Everything would be understood as you asymptotically approach the good. Dewey was into democracy, not control and oddity. Education is an experience with which you must experiment. Then there's Mary Wollstonecraft, school population should it be halved, Maxine Green, multiple perspectives queen, Paolo Freire, to oppression he was contrary, Nell Nottings, continuously caring for things. But those are not my philosophies. I mean, I agree with many of their sayings, and I do not deny within their arguments false lie. So while I am grateful to the philosophers of old, I am an individual, so my own philosophy I have culled. It will blow your mind. Please, just take the time. Listen, I beckon. It will be brief, just a second. Education, draw forth from within. This is where I will begin. So please, listen. If I were to listen to my grandmother's wisdom, the purpose of education is to change your situation. In its absence, some have found success by society standards, which I think is backwards. If education is what you need in order to succeed, then there wouldn't be exceptions. Which is why I prefer the term learned to educated. The latter denotes the societal implications it promotes. The former, however, is a more suitable endeavor. Oh, I'm running out of time. On to the next rhyme. To the poem of a great, many students can relate. When I think about myself, I almost laugh myself to death. My life has been one great big joke. A dance that's walked, a song that spoke. I laugh so hard, I almost choke when I think about myself. Society dictates, nay, mandates that children 5 to 18 spend most days in a place they hate. But why? So they can work a 9 to 5? Isn't the point of life to find the passion inside? Because education can change your situation. You just have to have access and your life will be a success. If I were to list the problems with education, they would extend back to creation. But when I think about learning, it evokes a longing, yearning. Let me paint a scene. You see, here's Kareem. He sits in the back. He doesn't take slack. He's really cool. And at school, he plays basketball, and that's about all. But he's going somewhere. He may not seem to care, but he's listening. What are you relaying? Is your message that he's not important? Are your goals concordant? Do you try to engage him or simply ignore him, like he does to you when you say that strike too? Hold on, I'm almost through. Many see grades to be the mark of an educated being. On the contrary, grades are arbitrary. My favorite teachers are imaginary creatures, fictional characters, hand-drawn pictures. I learn from them again and again. 
their lessons stuck with me of their classes in Rolie. Oh, time's up. Gotta rush. To the philosophers of old from which my own was cold, we should find what's in our soul. Education is an experience. Children are not banks. We should show and teach a care ethic. To the teachers of today, please, let's do away with the traditional way of teaching material. Because Sully Briggs passionately speaks about how he loves education, but hates scholarly institutions. And I can't blame him. Let's replace Banks with Scholle. Let's show compassion while allowing students to find their passion. Let's make learning a priority, but most importantly, let's access, not hinder success. Quiet down, turn around, I care about you, so I want you to pay attention to this equation. It's on the test, do your best. Let's think about that. No, I didn't know that. That's a great point. Any thoughts not voiced? Quiet down, turn around. I care about you. So I want you to pay attention to this equation because education can change your situation.